This is the Sattler Five. Howard's Army. Brought to you by Devrite, Homes of Distinction. Welcome to Howard's Army, and with me, of course, as is always the case, is uh, Bill Massey. G'day, Bill. Hi, Murray. How's things to do with, with you? How are things with you today? <laughs> Very good, thank you. Um, look, we've been talking a lot about uh, the drug epidemics in the southwest of Western Australia, and in particular in, in the southwest, and um, uh, we've been sort of looking at what's been happening in that area to combat the problem. There's a lot been going on, hasn't there? There definitely has, and as we spoke previously to the lady uh, from Doors Open Wide, uh, mm. who has shared with us the concern that they got there, we've also got a lady down in Bustleton who contacted the Sattler Files last week. Uh, her name is Carolyn, and she's at wit's end with a problem in Bustleton, our oh, beautiful holiday spot down there in the southwest. And Caroline joins us on the line now. Caroline Mills, how are you this morning? Yeah, good, thank you. It's been really tricky down here. <laughs> I'll bet it has. Tell us a little bit about the problem down there. Well, see what's happening is um, families are taking their family members over to Bumble to the acute psychiatric unit to get help. And some of them are actually, they're actually, um, they document what's going on. They assess them. Then sometimes two or three o'clock in the morning, they're seen time because they haven't got a bed for them, or they just don't fit into that category of you know who's going into the um, hospital, you know. And we don't even have any support here in Buffalo. We don't have a group that helps families, you know. So they're leaving their home environment. Some grandparents are having to you know look after the children while they go and get help, and it just goes on and on. You said. Grandparents are looking after children because of their yep. their children being involved in drugs. Uh, yes. This is happening very often, and it's sad that this should fall back on the grandparents. Carolyn, yes. you you yourself, you you know of a family who are in this situation? Yeah, well, I spoke to one mum today. Now, her son is in the lockup last night as a result of not going to court because of him being on ice and, and laying into his mum and his girlfriend and the kids that he's exposed to all this and it's like, comes a time where we, we've got to stand up and say, well, this has got to change. People, families need more support, we need more services, but we need them in Buckleton. We don't need them in Bunbury or Perth, we need them right here. Well, yes, well, I, I think it's a fairly widespread spread problem, isn't it, Carolyn? You yeah. know, you, 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 you certainly, I think you need them everywhere, not just in mm. Bunbury and Buckleton. Oh, you no, need them not everywhere. at all. Yeah. Yep. And so, are there any hotspots around there that uh, that you know that the police target? Um, not really, because it's it's everywhere. Mm, yeah, that, and that's that's the frightening part about it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Because you can go into a shopping centre and someone can actually go off in a shopping centre, and then people are standing back thinking, "Well, what's going on here? What's this person on?" They don't have a clue how to deal with it. Yeah, and so it's it's out in the open, is it? Yeah. Oh goodness me, that's extraordinary. Mm. Mm. And and what help is there available in Bustleton for these people? We don't even have a drug rehabilitation. We don't even have a support group. People are sent to Bunbury or Perth. I mean, I went to that meeting on the weekend with doors wide open, and now I'm telling other people because we want them to come to Bustleton and help us here. We've got an Allen on, but that's it. Carolyn, a uh, what about? Death due to drug abuse, would there be much of that? Suicides or people being needled to death or what else can be happening down there? It's well, sort of typical shopping. example, about a month and a half ago, we had five suicides in one week in Buckleton. All related to drugs? No. Hmm. No, but, you know, still, a, you know, a loss of life. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. And so mm. at, uh, are the police uh, onto this uh, this problem, uh, Caroline? The police are doing as much as they can, but the thing is we all need to work together and be vigilant and, you know, support families, but they need to get the help then and there when they need it. Mm. Mm. I believe, Caroline, that the, the federal government should be throwing quite a bit of money behind you, uh, less money overseas and spending more in their own backyard. How do you exactly. feel about that? Yes, I agree with what you just said. So, 
Uh, you are, have you approached any of your, your local members down there to see if you can get support from them? Well, I've been to see Libby Metham and we've got to choose respect this afternoon meeting. Um, but I had a community meeting last Thursday and with those people that actually attended, there was two parents that were going through problems with their kids on ice and they shared their experience. And now they've got a little bit of hope that something will change, but it, it won't happen overnight. No, it, it certainly won't happen overnight. But there's got to be a starting point somewhere, and I yeah, guess that, that, that I guess that the the starting point is uh, with your federal member and even even the state member uh, to, yeah. to to try and get some action on this because it really does appear from what you've been saying and certainly what Julie Kent said that it's out yeah. of hand already. It's way yeah. out of hand. So. Mm -hmm. Caroline, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, it's been a, a real eye-opener and um, we will certainly be contacting you again to, to see how things are going and, and what progress is being made and, and anything that Howard's Army can do to, to help with this. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks for joining us, Caroline, and all the best. Bye. Thank you. Bye. So, Bill, we've got issues everywhere, it would seem. Well, it's right across the state, uh, Murray, and it's right across Australia. Mm. How can we fix it? As I've said before, we are putting far too much money overseas and not spending enough in our own backyard. Mm. The, the government have got to come to the party and realise, hang on, guys, we need you guys need help out there. Mm. Every community, every uh, region looks like it's needing f funding for to get rid of this drug problem yeah, and in, the indeed. only people to do it would be the government they have got to come up to the plate and do what they should be doing spend yeah. money here first invest it in their own people indeed and the example is already there with uh, with caroline and also with julie of course they're doing some some wonderful work and they just need the financial support to make it make it work properly and to uh, and to properly staff it and resource it. Well, they're, they're not qualified, you know, they're not qualified counsellors or uh, no, they're not. psych people. They're, they're everyday mums out there trying to do the right thing for the rest of the community. Yeah. Uh, Julie and Lena have both dealt with it directly. Yeah. They know what they're talking about. All we need is the government to say, right, guys, let's... One, find accommodation for you so as you can actually operate, so as you can assist to get mm. people off of these drugs. Shalom House, mm. uh, Peter Lyndon James, he's doing a fabulous job at the other end of this problem. Yeah. Once he's managed to get the people off, he's now working on keeping them off and finding them employment. So, yes, sir, there is light at the end of the tunnel for the people who are on drugs. Mm. But the, the, they just need that support to get through it. Yep, and I'll keep pointing the gun at the, the government. They <laughs> must provide the funding. They must indeed. Okay, look, we've you've been listening to Howard's Army with uh, with Bill Massey and Murray Korf, and uh, all brought to you by uh, Devright Homes of Distinction, and of course the wonderful Jay Mangano, award winning, award winning Devright Dev Homes of Distinction, and we'll be back with more on the Sattler Files very very shortly. Howard's Army was brought to you by DevRite, Homes of Distinction. This is The Sattler Files.